pretty much Morris McBride just said it's going to be such an easy double from here. You can easily double your money and just wait for the potential of meta to play out if you want to do that. But if you don't, you get an easy double of your money, the amount of money you put into the stock, man. So why wouldn't you do it? Hello everyone, welcome to Just Invest Today, and in today's video, we are talking about Meta, we're talking about Facebook, and how Facebook is just so cheap, and what Morsh Prabhai thinks about Facebook, because man, look at the stock price, bro, like this is crazy, 14 PE, it went up 3%, but it was trading lower, can you believe this? This company is growing revenue at 37% per year with 80% gross margins. Can you tell me what business can have 80% gross margins, growing revenue at 37% and be trading a, a 14 PE? Just look at IBM. IBM, $127 in the market, a PE of 24. This company is barely growing. It went up 3.9%. It was down 4.4%, down 27% in 2019, 2020. And this company is trading higher than Facebook. This is what I'm telling you guys. It's all sentiment driven. Everyone sees Facebook in your eyes. Everyone sees Facebook screaming at you. So everyone hates Facebook. But at the same time, when you really look into Facebook's fundamentals, the business, it's insanely amazing how good this business is and how strong the company is and this is an easy double of your money Can you please like this video subscribe to my channel i'm always providing you guys with so much new content man so subscribe 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 but obviously there is some risk because what happens if there's regulation biden always says about facebook he hates facebook and blah 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 and this then we have tiktok then we have snapchat Are these is Snapchat and TikTok going to eat Facebook's lunch? Who knows? But I doubt it. But let's get into this video. What did Morge Pabri say about Facebook? What does he see? So fast forward to 2022. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, have a, we have a meta market cap, I checked this morning, of $586 billion. And then, you know, maybe if you take out uh, like a few odd billion of cash, you get to like uh, enterprise value, like about 536 um billion and then net income is is uh you know 40 to 45 billion type of run rate and then you know, they're spending about 10 and billion on, on, on meta so if you if you add that back real net income is like kind of let's say 48 to 53 billion kind of number uh so it's basically basically like you know 10 11 times uh net income i i I prefer to use net income over EBITDA and all that because uh, my friend Charlie has uh, various four letter words he used when people are talking about EBITDA, so we'll skip the, we'll skip the use of EBITDA there. But, but basically, 10 or 11 times, uh, one would have never thought we'd get to, on trailing earnings, uh, get to that sort of valuation on a business uh, like Meta. And, uh, but you know, but on the other hand, uh, and when Morsh Parai says that, that we would never have thought that Meta would get this low, it puts it into perspective. Facebook now trading cheaper than its tobacco comps. And remember, another huge argument is saying that Facebook is bad for you. It's bad for your health, your mental health, whatever. It's trading worse than tobacco stocks right now. Like, like think about that. What's worse, tobacco or Facebook? I think people would argue that, come on, like, tobacco is... 30 times worse and Facebook has a lot of benefits people keep forgetting that Facebook has a lot of a, a lot of benefits for small businesses for advertising for small businesses just getting into contact actually promoting your company using Facebook as like a to get brand awareness people build businesses on Facebook a lot of millionaires can become millions from Instagram from Facebook you know how many money people has made just from Instagram and promoting stuff like, think about that. Like, Facebook is not just some bad guy, bad company doing all the wrong. Like, you can put Facebook down. And it's trading worse than tobacco companies. Like, in the market. Like, it's just unfathomable how they're treating Facebook right now in the market. It's just crazy. One of the things, when you look at it, I don't think there's any other company on the planet, any of these other, you know, large techs that have 
8.6 billion users. I think the, the next and that was one of the biggest arguments against Facebook is that Facebook is not growing its users, but they have the most users. No company has as many users as Facebook. How much damn more do you want it to grow? They can honestly grow just getting more revenue per customer. And that's how I see the future. And I still think they can grow their business, man, because as the population grows, Facebook's going to grow. People are going to wake up and get Instagram and get Messenger, get all of that. And people keep saying it's not growing, but it's always in the top app downloads. In February 2022, the top app, TikTok was number one in iOS, but then Instagram, Google Play, Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp, Messenger, they're all in the top 10 combined total. Instagram, two, Facebook, three, WhatsApp, four, Messenger, seven. Like, are you kidding me? Facebook is not growing? Man, people keep saying that, but people hate Facebook. People hate the company, but they can't put it down. That's how strong the damn mode is. People hate the company, hate the CEO, but they can't put the product down. That's how you know Facebook is an amazing company right now. Stu combined might not get to 3.6 billion. So Facebook is, uh, Meta is in a very unusual situation because 3.6 billion, the total number of internet users is four billion. So one question I have for you, uh, Divya, is that when you look at the users, uh, the, the total users that Facebook has, how is that going to grow, uh, or does that need to grow? So Morris for Bride still thinks that Facebook is an easy double from here. It's easy peasy. You don't really have to think about it, but that's not investment advice because there's so many things that can happen to Facebook in the midterm. But if you think about it, if you have your money in Facebook, like what do you think your odds are, are getting ahead? Because if anything, they can just buy back shares. Like they have so much money. They can just buy back shares if they really wanted to just to increase the stock price because they're buying a crazy amount at 300 so imagine what they can do at a cheaper price at $197. They can buy back so much more shares. So they seem to be, uh, they seem to be ahead. My, uh, my, my situation when I look at Facebook is that I see a company which is, that revenue is not going anywhere. Uh, their cash flows are not going anywhere. Uh, I think those are pretty uh, solid. I think the user base is pretty solid. So if I were to look at Facebook, I would say that even with five or ten percent annual growth, which five for five or ten percent annual goals, Facebook is growing thirty seven percent year over year. And remember, they said eight to ten percent for the first half of the year or the the first quarter. That's not for the overall year. When people thought when Facebook came out and said, "Oh, we might get eight to ten percent growth because of headwinds, competition, and uh, maybe spending." And then uh, on top of that, macroeconomic factors like supply chain issues, they think that's going to be lasting forever or for for the whole year. That could be a year thing. That can be a quarter thing. But over the long term, they are going to get that back. They're going to go back on how they originally made money because they're using reels and reels hasn't been the best thing to monetize. But they said they have strategic plans to monetize Reels. That's a short-term issue. People keep thinking like Zuckerberg can't monetize Reels. Does the same issue happen with Stories? When Stories came out, they didn't know how to monetize Stories, but then they got better at it. They monet they start monetizing Stories. So saying that they can't monetize Reels is stupid. Reels is Meta's fastest growing content format by far. Reels, Mark Zuckerberg, Answer to TikTok is now available in more than 150 countries. Mark Zuckerberg said in the fourth quarter 2021 uh, results conference call, as a result of both competition and the shift to short-term video, as well as our focus on serving young adults over optimizing overall engagement, we're going to continue to see some pressure on impression growth in the near term. Now I'm confident that leaning harder into these trends is the right short-term trade-off to make it in order to get long-term gains. And that's what people can't see. They just focus on the short-term. What happened in one damn quarter? Not even a year or two years. One quarter. And it's the company's dead because of one quarter. And people are forgetting they have WhatsApp. And WhatsApp is doing a lot of business thing. And they have a billion users already connecting with WhatsApp, using it for business purposes. And WhatsApp payment is coming out in different countries. People are not even thinking about that. And they're using AI to get better ads. 
like Mark actually talked about how they're using AI. One key to reshaping the advertising infrastructure is the use of AI. Mark Zuck already has specific ideas how it can be used. So people keep forgetting that they're making us some super computer to use less data to get better ads. Like, this is what's happening with Meta and people are just not seeing it right now because people are just caught up in the short term action of the stock price of what just happened, how they had a bad quarter or whatever. Doesn't really seem like a big leap for them to get to. Uh, the stock uh, ought to be a double at current interest rates. Easy double at current interest rates, an easy double, Moj Prabhai says. I don't have any issue with saying that, you know, Meta in two or three years is an easy double. I think that's a, that's a reasonable bet. Uh, when we look beyond that, you know, if you're looking for... But remember, that is not a guarantee that's going to happen. So you still have to take precautions. Just because Moj Prabhai is saying it, or I'm kind of repeating it, that doesn't mean it's going to happen. Stocks are risky. Stocks can go up, can go down. We don't know if something comes out that Facebook did this or Mark Zuckerberg did this. Who knows what happens? We can wait two to three years or two years to get that easy double of meta. And it might not even take that long. So what do you think about Facebook as an easy bet, man? Guys, please like this video, subscribe to my channel. I'm always providing you so much content. Peace.